welcome back to the channel. So this week we are making an historical recipe called La Crème Agnès Sorel. You may have heard that name, Agnès Sorel. She was a courtesan from the, uh, you know, the court of France under the French king Charles the Seventh, and she became uh, the king favorite, let's say favorite mistress, because she was using food as a medium to please the king. She hired lots of cooks who were standing in the kitchen to make sure he had all these beautiful dishes. And unfortunately, she never had an actual recipe with her name given, but Auguste Escoffier decided later on to recreate the soup, this is what we're gonna to do today, and to give it a name, the crème Agnès Sorel. So let's discover that recipe together, let's go. <laughs> So let's make that famous crème Agnès Sorel. All what this is, in fact, is a chicken velouté. The ingredients you need are not many. This is what we're gonna have. Of course, we're gonna have some mushroom, a little bit of licks, some flour and butter to make a roux, some cream. And for the garnish, we're gonna have a julienne, which is matchstick of poached chicken, okay? And matchsticks of uh, mushroom cooked in butter. What's important here is to have an excellent quality homemade chicken stock. When you make a velouté, the stock is everything. If your stock is not up to scratch, the soup is not going to be up to scratch. Okay, you find all the ingredients listed in the video description. Now let's start. Once you measure your ingredients, the first thing you're going to have to do is to poach the chicken. So instead of using just water or whatever, the best is to use the chicken stock. So this is the one I'm making and that, that white chicken stock, you see it's nice and clear and I'm just gonna take my, my chicken breast here, okay, and I'm gonna cook it in the stock. And this is very fast, within 10 minutes, how chicken is gonna be cooked. So very gentle simmer, and I'm gonna leave this to cook, you know, for a few minutes, and we'll see what it's done. Now the garnish, usually the official garnish is composed of three things. You've got chicken breast, uh, cut into matchstick or julienne. The same for the mushroom, and you usually have ox tongue. I don't have that, I'm not gonna use it because uh, for I'm not a fan of it, it's kind of hard to find. But let's start with the mushroom. How do you make matchstick out of a mushroom? That's always the big question. Usually you take these white mushrooms, uh, very fresh and very white, and these kinds of size, okay? I could not find any white ones. So what I'm gonna just demonstration, what you can do, you can peel first, start by peeling off the skin of these mushrooms, okay? Once the mushroom is peeled, usually what you, uh, what you have to do, actually, I'm using that kind of knife because you see it's uh, the size of the mushroom, and you have to kind of uh, slice just, you see, the white part of your mushrooms, as much as you can. So you see, I've got an ugly part like that, and these, these parts here, they are pure white, this is the kind of stuff that you're gonna use. And you're gonna start by making, you know, you can do it straight away because we're not gonna do something, uh, you know, Michelin star, but you can go like this and make your little matchsticks. Now, before you start working with mushrooms and put them in lemon, etc., etc., you're gonna have a lot of off cuts when you're making your julienne and you keep these for the velouté, we're gonna need a good 200 grams of off-cut and you can use a full mushroom and cleaning it, make sure you don't put the gills. You try to keep as much as the white as possible. So off-cut on one side for the velouté and the nice good looking stuff on the other side for the julienne. For the lemon, and it's not rocket science, you take a piece of lemon and you know, you're just gonna squeeze it over and wash in your hand or with your fork, we're gonna to toss the whole lot. As soon as the julienne is done, it's best to cook it, so medium, medium heat, medium high. We're gonna melt the butter first in a small pan. My butter is chanting away, and you know what we're gonna do here. So you should have more julienne, and this is just for the example. I actually have two or three times that amount, if you make the full recipe, okay? And we're gonna start to cook them a little bit in butter without coloration, so moderate heat. Perfect, I'm gonna add salt, no pepper, or it's gonna color the whole thing and one or two tablespoons or more of water. And this is called cuir à blanc, to white cook the mushrooms. We're gonna bring that to the boil and then leave it to cook on a simmer for five minutes. All done, I'm gonna turn my heat off. I'm gonna scoop out the julienne and reserve it in a bowl with a bit of stock. Okay, so I've got a bowl here. I'm gonna put some of my chicken stock in here. You don't need much. And I'm gonna scoop out the julienne. I am not gonna put the juice 
in there, okay, because it's full of lemon, there's already plenty of lemon in here. So here we are, that is the julienne of mushroom, it's bathing in stock, we're not gonna touch it, we're gonna leave it there, uh, so it doesn't get dry or anything like this, it doesn't get black, and we'll use it just for garnish at the end. My chicken is now cooked, it took me about 12 minutes huh, to poach it, and as you can see, it's nice and white, is what we want, this is a white soup, so we're gonna leave it to cool down totally, and we're only gonna use it at the end, if you want, you can put it in the fridge, and then we'll do a julienne out of it. And now for the most important, which is making the velouté. I'm using a rondeau here, uh, so you can see what's going on. Otherwise, sometimes it's not going to be obvious. So the first thing we're going to do is to put all of the butter and let it melt. So while we're waiting for the butter, little question, what is a velouté? Okay, you can use the, the comment section to answer if you want to do it right now. Uh, you'll discover as we make it. The butter is now melted. I'm going to put all of the young licks that I've got on here. I'm going to reduce my heat to a simmer because we don't want any coloration and we're going to sweat, it's called, you know, leave these to sweat the vegetables. So meaning a very low heat so that we don't sear anything and we just want to extract the natural water content into the vegetables. Okay. And here we are. After five minutes, you can see nothing is burned. And you got the aromas of the mushroom, the butter, the garden leeks there that are coming out, which is absolutely beautiful. Now what we're going to do now is to add flour because we are making actually a roux. And the answer to the question of velouté is simply a roux mixed with a stock. And the roux we're making here is a special one. It's a mushroom and leek flavored roux. Okay, so I'm going to... Make sure the heat is on low. So you mix everything and like a normal roux, you're going to cook this to a good three minutes. After three minutes, you turn the heat off and you're going to put this away from the heat and we're going to let it cool down totally. And now to make the velouté. So we have here, and now to make the velouté. So we have here the cold roux, huh? so it's room temperature, it's fine, with the mushroom and the leek. We've got the boiling stock and we're using a hot stock over a cold roux. So what we're going to do is just bit by bit, we're going to pour that in. And we're going to start to dilute the roux with some of the chicken stock. So you see I'm putting some like this. And then with my whisk of the heat, I'm going to start to mix everything together. You can also use a wooden spoon and what we want, if I show you, you see, is that the pan, all the roux is gone. All right. So once you're here, basically you can add the rest of the stock in all at one. It's still of the heat. Huh? We're going to add a little pinch of rock salt. And while we're waiting for this to boil, you need to keep on stirring like this. Okay. To make sure nothing starts to stick because it's going to thicken as it starts to boil. Okay, so as you can see, my velouté boils. It is extremely important to reach the boiling point and spend a good minute with the boiling like this before we reduce the heat and leave this to simmer for a good 25 to 30 minutes because this preparation is all about flavor. We've got a good chicken stock, but what's going to make it really special is to concentrate the taste as much as we can. My burrito has been simmering for actually 30 minutes and this is necessary to really kill off that flowery taste. So what I'm going to do now is to do a little taste. Okay, see where we at. Oof. You're really concentrated flavor. So the mushrooms and the chicken start to really uh, be there. But of course, from here, now we can turn the heat off, but it's not finished. So anytime you make a velouté, there's two phases. You first make the base soup like this. You got the flavor, you got the mushroom, you got the stock, but it is not served with all the things in. And this is typical. So I'm going to pass this through a sieve and then we're going to add the finishing touches. So for this technique, we pass the soup through a sieve and we're going to press down to have as much of the juices from the vegetables and everything, the mushroom that goes into the liquid. So it's all hidden. So the whole goal here is to really hide the taste of everything in the soup. And so that when, you know, imagine that the king at the time, he would get this and would say, oh, what is that liquid with all these flavors? What's the secret recipe, you see? But in fact, it was all the mushrooms, the leeks and stuff. 
So as you can see with Escoffier, always there's a lot of different steps. And this is the base preparation. I'm going to put this back to a high heat. And what we're going to have to do now is to add the cream in. And again, guess what? Reduce further. So the cream is what makes the whole color of that soup, you know, that cream more appetizing. You see, because it's kind of a brownish. So you can add up to 100 milliliters of cream, okay, to get that more kind of whitish color. You don't want it too white. And here, of course, we're gonna have to bring this to the boil and reduce again. My creme or my velouté soup here is boiling and immediately, do you see what happened? There is scum or impurities forming at the top of foam that we're gonna have to remove. We're gonna cook this for another 10 minutes because Escoffier is, is borderline obsessed with reductions. That's what it does to concentrate taste all the time. Reduction, reduction, reduction. And that's it, we've got all the little garnish. We're finally done, I've turned my heat off. This is when you're gonna adjust the seasoning with salt and pepper to your liking. I'm gonna keep the last tasting for uh, the reveal. And the cream does the consistency. What we want is that spoon coating consistency. You see how it coats the back of a spoon and you can make a streak like this. It's almost a sticky soup. You see, that's the power of this uh, cream type of soup. But that's it, let's finally dish this and try it out. Finally, the soup is ready, sir, the king. The soup has arrived. It took me just about a few hours to make it, but we all good. So I use the bowl, usually it's a plate, but you know what? I got the silver spoon on here and I've got the little garnish. So this is the creme Agnès Sorel. Usually you have a julienne of ox tongue on there. What we're gonna do, the sure is gonna sink, is to add a few of these little uh, poached mushroom and because of the lemon it's gonna add that uh, that little zing to it and of course you're gonna have this little piece of chicken you know? the problem is that you don't really see anything you see and this is the way it was done like the garnish you know would, would be inside the soup so you've got that concentrate of flavor and then you know a sparkle of of parsley just because uh, I love it and then we're ready to to try this out so Let's see what the king thinks. So thinks, you know, so when you serve it like this, uh, it's very elegant. Uh, it's not like big chunks or anything. So I'm gonna try to not to make a mess. Let me just try a little bit like that. Mmm. Wow. Well, the first, yeah, the first word I would say here that's elegance is really the word. Uh, it's a kind of a really silky smooth kind of experience. And the taste feels like you've just been hit by, um, you know, a big mushroom. Mm. Punch you in the face when you got a chicken in the back. But it's, it's really hard to describe. And, you know, it's smooth, it's silky, it's full of flavor. You notice the flavor, but it's... The striking thing is the elegance of this. It's like if you compare to a wine, you know, like a Pinot is kind of nice and light and fruity and very thin. This is more like the kind of the full bodied experience. And intense flavors, like the flavors are crazy, but it's, wow. I think it is a one of the kind experience. Well, you have to say that this was a lot of work, but I think the goal of the exercise here is to really uh, showcase how velouté based soups are made. And the, the creme are a bit different. They're not as thick as the pure velouté soup that you can find sometimes. So it's a bit long when it is not the kind of recipe, of course, you're gonna make just like this uh, on the whim, like, oh, let me make a soup. It is really something uh, to go through if you want to learn the techniques, if you have a special occasion, or if you really want to impress someone you really love, like maybe that's Agnès Sorel with the king, and then this is a recipe to try. But that's it. As always, if you have any questions without the video, use the comment section if you want to post your picture. Use Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. And for the rest, you can always support us on Patreon or join our culinary school to learn all these lovely techniques. I'll see you all next time for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.